One, God will open for you the windows of heaven. Number two, you will, you will pour out a blessing that you will not have room enough for it. Fathers like Kenneth Copeland will call it concept, insights, and ideas. Next verse, it says, I will rebuke the devourer. The third, the devourer is a waster that comes to bring all kinds of waste on legal basis to your life number four he says he shall not destroy the fruit of your ground your ground is anywhere you plant can be your business can be your life and then number five he said neither shall your vine cast its young before its time number six he says you shall be called you shall be a delight some land please go to um all nations shall call you blessed verse 12 and ye shall be a delight some land seven prophetic blessings according to scripture when Jesus was rebuking the scribes and the Pharisees for their being hypocritical, he did not negate the subject of tithing. He said, you tithe and you do all of these things and you negate the weightier matter. So Jesus identified this as part of the things that the believers should know. Tithe is very important. Number three. So number one is the law of absolute surrender. Number two is the law of the tithe. And then number three is called the law of giving you can put in bracket the law of seed time and harvest these are the three spiritual laws principally now under the law of seed time and harvest there are so many i don't want to run into it this night but then it's sufficient for you to know that the law of giving the law of seed time and harvest is a foundational spiritual law are we together now very important Luke chapter 6 and verse 38, we read it earlier. Here's what it says. It says, give and it shall be given unto you. 